got a couple of minutes to review what we learned about popular culture in the 1920s. That's the information tied to the indicator that reads, describe the development of popular culture. A popular culture developed during the 1920s because of the way the decade progressed. It was in the 1920s that the number of people living in cities first outnumbered the number of people not living in cities in the United States. The United States had become an urbanized nation. People have always believed there is a great difference between people who live in cities and people who live in the country. Perhaps it's not as much as people think, but there truly are differences between the urban or city lifestyle and the rural or country lifestyle. In the 1920s, these differences in lifestyle became central to what happened in the decade. We might call the big conflict of ideas and values in the 1920s a clash between traditional values of the countryside and the changing values and lifestyles of the urban centers. Rural Americans backed an effort to eliminate the production, distribution, and consumption of alcoholic beverages. Banning booze was their number one priority. Those who lived in cities were far from persuaded that there should be a ban on alcohol. The rural faction won and prohibition went into effect. However, so many people disapproved of prohibition, it was soon clear that perhaps half the nation's population was flaunting the law. Prohibition created a lasting belief in America that government should not be in the business of legislating morality. Prohibition, many people believed was about morality. They rejected the arguments of the prohibitionists it was about the public good, public health, and family welfare. Major crooks saw prohibition as the best opportunity in history to launch an extended criminal business. Bootlegging, rum running, and operating speakeasies brought huge sums of money into the criminals' pockets. This money they used to corrupt as many public officials as possible. Prosperity came to the nation during the 1920s. People spent money with wild abandon. That is the people who had money spent money with wild abandon. The people who had money were mainly living in cities. The 1920s were bad economic times for those living down on the farm. The decade was also bad economic times for most African Americans. Jazz and the radio also created popular culture. Jazz was new, vital, vibrant, exciting. People were dancing to it in the clubs of the cities. In the countryside, many thought it shameful, the music, the short skirts, the bobbed hair and the wild dancing. But radio went everywhere. It exposed children across the nation to what was mainly the culture of the American cities. The 20s is best remembered as a period of widespread social and economic change. It was the beginning of the radio era and the beginning of the movies. These two media created a new national culture more homogeneous than it had ever been before. Americans in California, Indiana, Alabama and New York were all hearing the same radio shows, listening to the same music, hearing the same news broadcasts, and being bombarded with the same advertisements for goods and services. Time for me to go. Let's both take some personal time and think about what we've discussed. That'll help us be ready for the benchmark questions.